so I'm pretty tired today so it fits perfectly with what I want to cover and it's the topic the idea of self-love and self-care number one first thing that we need to realize is that we shouldn't feel guilty for the fact that maybe we haven't been taking care of ourselves as much as we want to we see all these people on Instagram and social media and saying how much first of all how much you need self-care if you want to love yourself I've said similar things to that but here's the thing we can't love ourselves through feeling guilty that we're not loving ourselves enough or feeling guilty that we're not taking enough care of ourselves sometimes like this week I've had a an insane week full of responsibilities a lot going on a lot going on so of course it hasn't been like I didn't accomplish a, a Guinness record of amount of hours of self-care this week it's okay I'm not gonna guilt myself into taking more care of myself it's okay of course a part of me wishes it would have been different a part of me hates the fact that I haven't been taking as much care of myself as I would love to um, but we need to start there we need to relax into it and be okay with it if we can I like the phrase uh, I don't know where it comes from but start where you are use what you have do what you can we can take that into many areas of our lives um, you're doing your best I was thinking even of using like a, a mantra the entire day like if you look into the mirror and you look at yourself and you can say you're doing your best it's okay you're doing your best or just throughout the day just I'm doing my best it's okay I'm doing my best and just whatever phrase allows you to relax and chill a little bit and, and and release some of the stress of I should be taking more care of myself it's okay you're doing your best and the second idea which not contradicting what I just said but something that we hear a lot about and and I mean it might be true to some level that when you love someone you take care of them when you love something you take care of it when you care about someone you take care of them so here's what I was thinking too that doing a self-love exercise whether it's journaling mirror work whatever kind of exercise you're doing and saying that you love yourself for five minutes a day and then completely ignoring your feelings emotions and everything else throughout the rest of the day the, the the rest of the 23 hours and 55 minutes in that day might not be the most beneficial approach and like I said there, sometimes we'll go through times in life I know that this was just a very different week for me different um, circumstances and everything I know I'll get back to more of my routine and um, I feel kind of lost my train of thought there there's a lot going through my mind of course because it's been a very busy week but um, here's what I was gonna say like I was saying when you love someone you take care of them right and in the past how many of us probably most of us have heard from someone else or have been kind of shown like okay they love me they care about me maybe they said I love you maybe it was a parent someone who said I love you but then didn't really show it to you right it's one thing to like talk the talk and then walk the walk there's that in, in many areas of our lives there's that theme of like talk the talk and then walk in the walk how many people have told us that they love us but they, they don't really show it they don't really truly embody that and, and make us feel that way by their actions and behavior and everything else so I was thinking how in a way we're 
doing that to ourselves if we just do like a little self-love exercise for five minutes but then completely ignore ourselves the rest of the day and like i said i don't want you to use this to feel bad about this this is just to bring awareness into the situation and see how maybe we can shift this like here's what i've been using a lot lately like many things I've been using it as a, as a reminder for gratitude, a reminder for self-love. So if I, ha if I have any kind of, I don't know, something that just stands out, out of the ordinary, like I use it as a reminder for anchoring. I, li I love the idea of anchoring gratitude, anchoring love, anchoring self-love. So I don't know, I could give you a ton of examples, but I think it would make the video very long, but um, even like, if I'm at work and I'm like, holy shit, like this has been a long day, like I'm exhausted, I just want to go home. I turn it into gratitude for the fact that I have a job, for the fact that I have money coming into my bank account, for the, ha the fact that I'm being supported financially by life, the universe, however you want to see it. Um, if I'm working and I'm physically tired, I turn it into gratitude for, and this is not bypassing, by the way. I made a video on spiritual bypassing and that, this is not bypassing. This is just using it to, to survive the week, to survive the day, to get through it. And because I would like to anchor more gratitude and more love and more compassion into my life. So I can make another video about that if you want me to. Um, but uh, when I'm physically tired, I, I turn it into, gratitude for the fact that my body can handle so much that i'm getting healthier i'm getting stronger and i say thank you to my body for helping me survive this thank you to my body for helping me through this and i'm sorry that i'm not taking the best care of you right now but i promise you i'll do my best <laughs> and you can turn things like i showed you like turn things into gratitude, turn things into love. And if at the time that feels like you're forcing it too much, then don't do it. And I also use the phrase a lot, get real about how you feel if you wanna heal. Thank you, Candace Van Dale. Get very real, like really, really raw, authentic, real about how you feel. If you're frustrated, pissed off, overwhelmed, tired, exhausted, get very, 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 real about how you feel and you might notice that naturally you shift into compassion after that and gratitude um but that's why i say like if you say just if you just say i love you to yourself in the morning for five minutes and you're completely ignoring your body completely ignoring your emotions completely ignoring the fact that you need a little rest you need a little bit of a slow down because what i do um at night it doesn't matter how much things i have left to do like i i, I like to have a a cut off for like technology and i just like turn some candles on and do maybe like foam rolling stretching uh mobility work a little bit of meditation qigong um whatever i know helps me to slow down and and get into a slow down routine like a slow down state to be able to sleep better at night because otherwise i wouldn't be able to handle um all the things that i'm that i have on my plate right now so the other thing that i wanted to share with you right now i could have already left for work but one thing that i always talk about filling your own cup first right one thing that fills my cup is making videos and helping people that's one thing that's very rewarding to me there's many things in my life that i like but many of them i notice are more superficial but helping people holy fucking shit it feels amazing so when I can share my experience, when I can share what I'm going through with maybe some ideas and tips and things for you, for someone that might be going through something similar, for someone that might be 
looking for some support in, in that area. It feels really good. I talked in another video about the, the video by Jason Silva about the helper's high and how rewarding and even freaking addicting sometimes it is to be able to help people and support people on different levels. So yes, I am tired. Yes, I have a ton going on, but I wanted to take a little bit of time to, to record this video and do what is most rewarding to me. So here's what I would invite you to do. I talked about the idea also of minimalism and essentialism. You can look into those. There's a book called Essentialism, I think. Really cool book. Uh, it's a very simple idea. I won't get into it now. Um, but see what you can cut out of, uh, out of your life. Sometimes we're doing things that we don't truly, truly need to do. And we're staying busy and we have an endless to-do list. And even when we're overwhelmed, we might just need to postpone some things. Maybe stop doing some things. And see... When it comes to self-care, even if you include like a one minute breath work session, one minute of like really slow, deep, relaxing breaths, or one minute of throughout the day, so you're not, if you're sitting all day at work or sitting all day somewhere, for one minute, can you get up and do some stretching, mobility, whatever you want to do? We don't need to do a 30 minute workout for it to count as self-care. Self-care can be divided and split up into 30 second little whatever, a 30 second gratitude session. Is that even a thing? I just made that up. Um, oh, mosquitoes are driving me crazy. Um, well, a 30 second, did I say? Yeah, 30 second gratitude thing. Um, a one and a half minute, whatever. Self-compassion, self-love, little whatever session. Um, honoring, I talk a lot about this too, like honoring what your body needs. It's one thing to know what your body needs. It's another thing to honor what your body needs. And I know that if you're going through a lot, if you're busy, you can't do a 10 minutes stretching routine maybe in the middle of the day, but you can get up, maybe open up, move around, do whatever you need to do. I don't know. You'll know. I, I don't need to tell you what to do. You, you'll figure it out. But um, just a reminder to, there's people that set like a timer on their phone every hour, every two hours or whatever you wanna do. So you get up and do something. Literally for one minute, one minute, just to break it up and move around and give your body a break, you give your mind a break and nourish your body, nourish your soul, do the things you love. And um, I think that's it. Yeah, when it comes to self-care, it's a very personal thing. I can't tell you how to do it, what to do, when to do it. I think you need to listen to your body, listen to your heart and honor the messages you get. Honor and do the best job you can in, in following those things. So that's it. I hope that helps. Mosquitoes are driving me crazy. And now I'm just rambling all over the place. There's many things that I want to share, but I don't want to make the video too long. So I think I'll stop here. Hope it was helpful. Hope you have an amazing day. If it was helpful, please give me a thumbs up or something. A little comment. Show some support. It really helps out my channel. And I would really, really appreciate it. Have an amazing day.